Uh, let's keep it moving here. All right. <laughs> Brian wants to know, has Tony ever seen the dark side of the ring documentaries? And what did he think of them? So this has been the talk of the internet these last six weeks or so they've been airing on vice land on Wednesday nights. Right. And, uh, our great close personal friend, Mr. Evan Husney helped put them together. And, uh, everybody wants to know your take. I saw the bruiser Brody one and I, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the one about the, uh, and I thought it was very sad about the Von Erics. That was the only two I've seen. Now I'd, I'd like to see, uh, Although I didn't know Gino Hernandez, I'd like to see that one. Uh, have there been more that I've missed? I think Couple. my favorites are, uh, my favorite three are Bruiser Brody, Gino yeah. Hernandez, and, um, the Von Erics. Right. And my, from there, I don't, I, these are my, not as favorite. I still enjoyed them all. Right. Uh, but I, I still think Brody's probably number one. I think Gino's number two. I think Von Erics number three. Fourth for me is probably Montreal. Fifth would be, uh, Rock Macho and Liz. And then sixth would be fabulous Moolah. And, and I, I guess it's just because I wasn't that into Moolah. Um, right. but I think I was most into learning about, uh, Brody's story. And I thought Tony Atlas's testimony was incredible. Yeah. And I, I, the, all the Gino stuff was brand new to me and it reads like a damn murder mystery. It's awesome. And. Uh, I knew the whole Von Eric story, but even my wife didn't. And she thought the Von Eric one was the best one. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. And if you were at Starcast this past weekend, you saw him every single day. Well, the reason I like the Brody one, the best is because if you had been in the business, uh, for any length of time, like I had the bruiser Brody story is legendary Uh, and it's, uh, it was just, it was good hearing that. I had, I had heard that story from Dutch man tell himself. I'd heard Dutch tell it, but I'd never heard anybody else tell it before. So I was very interested in it. And that's why I liked it the best. Um, Dan Dean wants to know <laughs> every week, Tony Schiavone would tell us the tape machines are rolling. Yeah. yeah we sure. almost never got footage the following week of what happened right. after nitro went off the air. What's up with that? Well, the tape machines were rolling, but we didn't want to fucking show it to you. They were rolling for the library, the uh, library. Sorry. Thank you for pronouncing it properly. Thank you. Uh, David wants to know, do you know the ideal temperature of triple H is water? The idea. Yeah. The, the idea it's uh 43.6 degrees. That's uh, right. Team Louie wants to know when tank Abbott put a knife to big Al's throat after their leather jacket on a pole match live on pay-per-view. Tony covered by saying tank was going to give Al a shave as cameras cut away. Uh, what actually happened there? What was supposed to happen? And what was the live reaction when you saw tank Abbott threatened to decapitate big Al? Well, no one expected that to happen. That was not quote unquote in the script. If you even think there was a script, uh, that was just, uh, tank Abbott being tank Abbott. And I just improvised as much as I could. And I remember all of us. Uh, once we got into a break thinking, what the fuck did we just see? So that's how that played out. 